of renewables are now widely considered to be uh, the most economical way to produce electricity. They are also recognized to be clean, and they also recognize as uh, the uh, technology that uh, have a better ratio between investment and creation of the job. In the time of the Ukraine crisis, is that the government has been uh, uh, realized their dependency from uh, from the gas, uh, the Russian gas, but more in general, that the eighty percent of a country in the world are dependent on fossil fuel. The energy security now is a theme where renewables can play a role. Why? Because renewables imply a decentralized energy system with more actors into the ground, with less chance to cartelize prices and quantity. So go for a decentralized energy system will provide for more residents and more security. In the same time, the decentralized system should be based on renewables. So we are going to work for a clean energy system. So infrastructure and the physical infrastructure is starting to be key for accelerating the path. As also the, 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 the legal framework, we have heard about uh, the, the, the need to redesign the energy market. We have uh, uh, heard about uh, how speed up the permitting, so this legal environment, and also uh, the professional career, the skills, the institutional capacity should be considered with different accent in different parts of the world. But the infrastructure, in my point of view, is going to dominate the next year with the debate. We need to have the demand for it. And still, we have not the demand that we, we should have for speed up the supply of, uh, of hydrogen. Look at this corridor that from Portugal, Spain, France, Germany has unified this market. Uh, it is a first step also in Europe to adapt the infrastructure uh, to support the new energy system. The European Union is leading and is leading by example. I think they, uh, also the European Union has some challenges and, and when we look at uh, the uh, necessary support to be received by the renewed infrastructure. But I think that uh, all the world can accept that uh, the EU is doing what is being requested to do. So we don't think that the destiny of uh, the Paris Agreement is at stake in Europe. Europe will be and will be there and perform its tasks. The question is uh, uh, other area more critical, like Africa, some Asia, where the uh, Paris Agreement is really at stake because of the economic growth that we don't intercept with green energy, it will be the end of the Paris Agreement. <laughs>